Hey, so while I'm at it, I thought I would do a reading for tomorrow, daily reading, and um, see what comes through. So hopefully I'll be a little bit more focused in my other reading. Um, let me shuffle these. Um, yeah, I have my painting. A little. Say my piece, two cents. Um, anyways, um, let's see. For tomorrow, general energies for tomorrow. Yes, general energies, people need to know or be aware of. And I kind of did this in the last reading, but in case you didn't watch it, this will be a real um, daily. This is the Three of Swords. Sort of sorrow here, or three, maybe the number three is important to you, or has some meaning for you, but this is also Saturn and Libra. So think of like getting to the point and working things out. Um, stick a pin in it. <laughs> um, It kind of looks like it's shattering though, like the flower was a glass flower and it's shattering, like I want to say like um, glass ceiling just came to mind, um, breaking the glass ceiling, luxury four of cups, um, three, four, we have a progression that came out for the other one, so um, maybe cancer? Um, since I can't see the other one, I'm going to pull a different one. Um, what do people need to be aware of for tomorrow, the 30th? Princess of Wands, Fire Sign, Knight of Wands. They both kind of wanted to come out, so. Two people are feeling very, this could be two hot situations, two, um, maybe you just temper two things, um, or Sagittarius and Moons and Aries, so maybe again, you're just kind of like being very gutterish um, or dealing with some fire signs tomorrow maybe it's you and then two other fire signs um, or just people that embody that kind of energy of just a lot of um, maybe like these streaky kind of like kind of like that painting like streaks wood um, fire maybe setting something on fire um, on the bottom star um again different deck so um maybe something's larger than life in your head and you're having to sort of star fell out again so yeah this looks like something i saw recently some picture um which doesn't help because I don't remember the name. Um, diamond facets, two facets within yourself, facets, you know, all these kind of like glass, fire, and diamonds right down here. I did mention something about a glass ceiling. They look kind of like they're just like. On fire, some something like being um, I 
feel like very future-minded, very um, goal-oriented maybe tomorrow. Um, working the, you know, connecting everything in your mind, finding some sort of balance. Oh, something about, I think two fire signs make an air sign. I'm not sure which one, but um, maybe you just kind of balance out. <laughs> Ace of Discs, some kind of offer, opportunity, or job promotion, or something like that. Something, something you want to grab, golden opportunity. Um, it's the beginning of something good. Just offering a hand, though, to like a helping hand. Um, it kind of looks like Cinderella to me, like <laughs> fireplace, like having to work. Cinderella. Um, Spiraling in like to um, the spiral, like you need to like work your way into something like a roundabout way um, instead of going straight for it. More so like spiral in, screw it in, screw it. <laughs> kind of feel like it's like a screw it attitude. Um, says meta. Can't read it. Um, something says it looks like meta. It's like bird wings and yeah, maybe just a good start to the day. Fired up, ready to go. Ready to get things off and running. Um, again sort of like impatient energy too sometimes just very excitable um I feel like there's some sort of knowing of like what is going to happen so you're able to sort of I don't know I feel like this I'm doing a very good job um this reading my words are kind of like um A compass, something about direction, asking for direction, slowing down. Orange and green, lots of orange and green, like. I mean, she definitely broke the glass ceiling here because she's like in outer space, so. Um, Maybe the future is headed that direction. Um, one way, maybe you're going down one way street. <laughs> right now, I don't know how far that came. Um, fast, fast paced, pace, paced, fast pace. Um, So you know everything's connected, things could be just some sort of heartbreak between these two people, um, to Let's start over.
Ace of Swords. From a distance, I mean, at a distance looks, yeah. Um, Queen of Wands, I've done the last reading. Um, I'm just like really not feeling this reading right now for some reason. Um, so, um, I don't know, maybe those are the people you're going to be dealing with tomorrow. Um, something having to do with three people maybe um there's three fire signs three angles three perspectives three um the triangle um three <laughs> Grand Trine. Um, if that makes some, if that makes sense to you, it's uh, things just kind of going fast. Um, I feel like that's what it's like when you're talking and you, um, like if you've, I don't know what the other ones are like, but I have a Grand Air Trine, um, and I feel like things are going around so fast, like zip zaps up, and you can kind of. It feels like you're talking very fast. It feels like things are moving through your brain very fast. But when I watch these back, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm talking so slow. <laughs> I feel like I can only grasp a few of the things that are, because there's like 50,000 different thoughts going through my mind at any given point. <laughs> um, from three different angles, almost like three different. Um, it's almost like, I don't know, this doesn't even matter. But um, yeah, it's like just three three thoughts going on at the same time in a way and you can kind of connect connect the dots maybe um so something about um celebration party this is the three of cups and um wheel of fortune so um, maybe it's the right time to have a party, right time for, um, right now is probably not the best example. I feel like I'm just too focused in a way. Um, three, maybe three friends after work, right time to get together, um, meet up or something. Um, Celebration, women, um, it doesn't have to be just women, it's general, but like, it, you know, sometimes I think of like three girlfriends, three sisters, three friends, like, it has to be too many cards. Um, so, what else people need to know? Star, again, just flew up. So, star has come up. Including the last reading, um, I keep pointing to it like it, as if that's my reading. Um, uh, it's come out like three times, I think. So the star, um, yeah, I feel like it's like using your high, your your compass, your um, internal sort of sense of where you're going, of how to get there, of the right move to make, the right thing to do inspiration coming through different channels and um, just feeling like sensory and intuitive um, something having to do with hope future um, Aquarius maybe 17 8 um, I'm just drawing blanks tonight for some reason like Nothing's really adding up, so maybe that's kind of what the future will be like for you. Because um, whatever happens to me seems to happen emotionally to people the next in the future, um, either days or weeks or months. So, um, yeah, I'm just having like a mind blank. Like, um, 
So, <laughs> seven to the star. Um, maybe just something coming through having to do with your future, like some sort of um, option, good option, or um, some, a job, op job offer or something like that. Um, maybe just feeling inspired. I feel like these are very much the colors that have been coming through. It came through the other deck and a bunch of cards. Um, it's like green and blue. It's kind of like, um, like having a water, uh, water, planet, moon, Neptune, something like that, um, in a earth sign. So it's like, yeah, um, steady, stable, um, almost like being able to differentiate things, um, how you feel and how something's affecting you on a physical, sensory level. Um, what you give out, you get back, like, it's all just very much giving, giving of yourself, giving inspiration, um, feeling like you're just, you know, being uh, noticed or something like that, um, maybe at work, um, but maybe for like your creative talents too, because the fire signs, the three fire signs came up. Maybe you have a grand fire trine. Um, and that would just, yeah, that, I don't know, that would be like crazy. Um, but maybe trying to channel into that like earth water energy kind of thing. Um, grounded and also emotional like it's they're so opposite that's why I don't seem to I don't I don't know um don't usually like I feel other people's emotions more than I feel my own um some sort of reflecting pool or something until yeah they're like reflected back at me or something like in art or something like that um Eight-pointed star, ripples, ripple, ripples of time, space time. You know, I feel like that's probably what this is a metaphor for: is space time, like ripples in time and space sprawling out. And so that's how you know that that um, the expanse of something. Um, all these streams, two streams, maybe becoming one and her. Um, something like Bird of Paradise or something, too. Um, that means something, too. Um, these are very much intuitive readings, also, because I feel like. You can just look up um, the meanings of cards, like, you don't need me here to tell you what the, you know. Um, so it's all intuitive, it's random phrases that come through and imagery and just stories and connections. So I feel like it's connections and like bridging the gap to maybe you're having to make some sort of connection. I feel like it's just very lush though too, very lush environment, like there's all this new greenery, grass growing and um, tree and just, yeah. Um, 17 and um, I don't know why that keeps going through. What's the importance of the star?
also a fan of like um, narcissistic kind of like not usually not not the meaning of the card but kind of remind me of that that myth of looking into the pool and seeing a reflection and drowning and that kind of thing um, <laughs> the king of cups fell out it's funny I was saying something about like separation but bridging the gap or something um and I feel like that's what um what I've been doing here as far as like psyche goes um is being able to isolate um different emotions different facets of one's personality of yourself, uh, the way things make you feel, um, almost being able to isolate those things in a way to enhance or better understand them and how those emotions, that facet of yourself, um, filter, I want to say like filters into your life, affects your life. And for these videos to enhance and, um, then being able to like put it back, um, and reconnect all these different facets within yourself, just sort of isolating something, you need to like isolate something in order to better understand it. Um, so he looks isolated. There's a little, little island. So also another stage in the alchemical cycles about land masses and island formations um, on a planetary level. So maybe that's what I'll do next, planet type playlist, but um, it's very, again, very intuitive, very feeling. Um, usually, the water signs are pretty understanding. Um, so it could be Pisces, um, Scorpio, or uh, Cancer that you're dealing with. And um, the Page of Pentacles fell out, and the um, Ace of Wands. So I feel like this is like a it's always kind of a do it energy, like a, or look at that. Maybe you're just um, really sort of um, like, huh, never thought of it like that. Um, but also, because they all, these fall out together. So um, it's going to be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, like I said before. Water, so water and earth, this big theme, um, three and, um, but in total, like, all together, I kind of feel like this could be a message coming through tomorrow, having to do with or from a water sign that is maybe an older figure, or just someone who's emotionally mature, and, um, maybe grounded and just has some of that as a spark or an idea or something um, to get you up and off the couch to do something different maybe um, to look at something hold something up make it um, say like uplift or um, cause all these are very like it just depends on how you look at it basically kind of like that. It depends on how you look at it. Um, and I feel like that's where your choice comes in. Like, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that this is exactly what's going to happen tomorrow or something's going to happen exactly the way I say it, because that takes your choice, the choice out of it. Um, these are like the, the way I try to do it is like explain the maybe meaning, the feeling or the event, um, the person characteristics, and then you have a better understanding of what it is you might be dealing with or encounter um what you may encounter going forward and just things to be aware of and um so you can recognize those things in the moment if they come up for you and that gives you more of a conscious choice of how you want to react and how you want to deal with the situation but um You're just like feeling very um, uplifted or good or something like that, nourished, inspired. Um, 
maybe consulting, consulting this person. I sometimes think of like a washroom or something um, together. Like they're going in the bathroom. Um, <coughs> I have a little bit of a cough. Um, yeah, so um, these are little cards that get started. Um, I just want to say like, I keep wanting to say like, you're going to do it anyway, so get on with it kind of thing. Like he looks like he's hesitating, doesn't know how he feels about it, and that's what's keeping him back. Kind of already knows here that they're going to put it up or put up the money for something, or they're going to make the decision, or they're going to do that, they're going to take the job or something. It's going to be a go ahead, a green light kind of thing, so maybe they just need to uh, talk about you or someone else like, Go ahead and do it, or she's a uh, sort of falling. Maybe you're gonna fall in love. <laughs> fall in love tomorrow. Um, I always feel like this is someone who feels deeply about someone or something. Um, like it's a state of being. Um, this would be like someone who's in love someone who cares about something or someone. Um, maybe it's like grow up, once you grow up. Um, uh, yeah, maybe you're watching this person, this person's watching you grow up. And, um, Proud of how far you've come, I'm gonna say. Um, how I feel like there's a lot of grace and um, forgiveness or something, too. Um, pull a few more. Um, up and at him, something like that, three of swords, um, again, the other deck came out as well, so, it must be significant, um, usually this is some sort of a heartbreak. But again, we've talked a lot about the Grand Trine, and that's what I think of it as sometimes, or the heart of the matter. Um, speaking from your heart, how do you feel? How do you think this is going to go? How do you... I mean, just three people, three opinions. Um... Gonna be happy with yourself or something? Not usually what that comes, but looking at these cards, um, maybe a yes answer from what I was saying before. What whatever I was saying, um, something with the up and atom. Because sometimes this comes through as a yes, more so in conversational sense, like it's three letters. Um, You got it. Sometimes that comes through as well for this. You got it. You got something. You got it. Good. Um, go ahead. Go for it. Um, go forward. Move on. Move forward. With something like that you've maybe been wanting to do. Like, um, because all the other cards are very positive, so I just, I don't really feel like that Three of Swords, I don't know. Um, the Chariot. Some kind of, um, 
ability to rein two opposing things in, to go in a new direction maybe, um, to see the right way through, to see the right path forward. Um, I say you got skills or something. Yeah, you got skills. <laughs> um, kind of uh, could mean some travel or just again means of travel or um, feeling successful with something, um, feeling like you know which direction you're going in now with some whatever it is maybe you're working on. Um, I did do a weekly, but. Sometimes I just feel like doing readings. <laughs> um, even though right now my mind is just not really, I don't know, we'll see. Maybe this will be informative for you or not. We'll see. Um, again, maybe Cancer. Cancerian. I mean, opposites. Cancerian and Aquarius. So, um... Yeah, like opposites attract or um, meeting somewhere in the middle like um, cross point the apex maybe um, <clears throat> I feel like the, there's very much like a triangular composition kind of theme in a way like, you know well three here and So it's balance, it's harmony, it's three, uh, creation in a way, um, filled up with, uh, emotion. The Knight of Pentacles is chopped out um, when I was looking at these two cards, so maybe that's important to you. Filled up with emotion. Um, I like that song, I move slow and steady, but I can feel like a waterfall, like the waterfalls, TLC. <laughs> um, with being able to like rein in your emotions, um, be in control of them, just have it together, have things moving in the right direction, taking the slow route maybe, taking your time, maybe don't rush tomorrow or something. Um, give yourself enough time to really feel something also, um, to really understand how something makes you feel. Um, some songs coming to mind. Um, you can do it if you want to or something like that. Um, <laughs> yeah. um, I don't know the name, but yeah. So this actually popped up before for the other reading. So nine, six popped out reverse nine. Um, Maybe, again, six something, a lot of six or nine, um, <laughs> Cancerian, I always think of, um, and it's come up a bunch, um, and there too. So something maybe like touches your heart. <laughs> that could be another translation for that, touching your heart. Something you said, something you did, something you, something about. Um, something about them, I want to say, I don't know, you know, but something about them, maybe you see them in your future, see someone, um, 
and maybe to work with. We have it's a kind of a balance, a lot of a balance between um, water and earth energies, a little bit of air because <laughs> of the Aquarius, like. Um, So it's like as younger energy, I always feel like it's very like sweet. It's your childhood memories. It's maybe past life kind of thing. It's a sibling. It's sharing, showing someone how to do something. Maybe you're giving some, again, guidance, help, advice, asking for something, showing, show and tell um, for... Be someone coming back from your past also um, that maybe you didn't expect or something like you yeah, maybe you see a maybe you're gonna see a lot more of them in the future um, and just like a helping hand though too like showing someone the way showing someone how to do something um, passing something down the line giving of yourself. I just feel like there's a lot of giving, helpful, nurturing. So this card just reminds me so much of like nurturing energy. Just the things that like your warm, fuzzy memories, the things that you, the best parts of your childhood that you want to like see or go forward with or see um, for yourself in the future as well, like recreate kind of thing. Um, but there's just like a lot of a lot of that helpful energy. Like this is a Virgo maybe, but either way, very helpful um, daily kind of tasks, skills, um, nurturing, taking care of someone. That song, Beach House. Look take care of you, um, show you how, you know, it's like, I want to say like feeling safe too, feeling, um, like you're, sh maybe you're sharing a lot of information, how you feel with someone, um, giving some advice, that kind of thing, someone you look up to maybe as well, um, so just, again, a lot of that, like, health energy just to help you figure out where it is you're going and what you're doing. <laughs> um, how to make something um, more than just, like, maybe a dream into reality. Um, maybe you want to have kids in the future, and that's coming up somehow tomorrow. Because this oftentimes talks about, like, children, too. Um... Anything else for tomorrow? Maybe the next day or two? Or just since some of these messages were so focused and so repetitive in a way from the other reading as well, maybe they're for just, just, just for you kind of thing. Um, Knight of Wands. Maybe you're background of where you come from with the chariot and um also triangular um long distance um fast pace there's that like little bit of fire energy again same card that came up in the top deck i don't always like because it's everyone's so you know has these different characteristics and different um, ways and different areas of their life and they come out in different dynamics and so I don't know much you know what to say with the people cards because it's gonna just be you know going rushing in fast or something hold your horses kind of thing um, <laughs> hold your horses um, I just feel like there's like a holding energy too um, like holding something, holding something, he's holding something, she's holding stars, holding something, say like hold me back or something, 
we are just like on fire and you have to like maintain some sort of control and tone it down a little bit I feel like that's like tone it down filter it through um queen of wands again came from the last reading this is weird um so yeah a lot of people you were going to be dealing with a lot of people and you're having to like sort of multitask to um resource four pentacles holding something like a lot of that just um <laughs> Tale of Two Cities is what comes to mind when I see this card. Um, just holding back a little bit. Um, steadfast, maybe. Maybe you're steadfast with your how you feel, with where you how you um, how you approach something too. Just having more of a steadfast attitude. Um, instead of rushing or taking too much time, taking your time. Um, there's a lot of translation. Maybe that's what I'll do. Because I do feel like doing readings, but I'm not, like, in the mode so much. So maybe I'll do my, like, little translation video next. Um, I just kind of always feel like he looks, like, entertained or amused or, like, smug or... Um, before, be like, be like me, four degrees Sagittarius. <laughs> um, it's holding on to something, not um, like feeling like you have enough, but maybe you just need to share more, share how you feel, share either some sort of equal. Stone face is what I want to say. Like, like he just looks very like salt stone, you know. Like, hasn't moved. Um, so, um, maybe you do need to get up and move around a little bit, take a break. Maybe something's happening on your washroom, bathroom break, or after work drinks, or something like that. Um, that brings up an old memory. Maybe you run into someone from the past. Um. She always looks like she's being a little bit nostalgic and like thinking over to something. Um, but it's also sort of like a taming. Um, maybe your base too. Oops. Your base. Whatever that means for you. Um, your home base. Um, what you want to do also it's like you have a little bit you got a little taste you know um and now you're like I like what I have <laughs> and I want more so you're just gonna like sitting back sitting pretty thinking about what it is you want to grab onto to grab hold of you know like that um how things make you feel helping you to decide um not trying, you know, maybe not rushing in, but also just like maybe there's a lot of momentum too behind your thoughts, behind your words, behind your actions tomorrow, and you just need to be a little bit more cognizant of that. Maybe. Um, anything else for tomorrow? This is getting long. Long for of wands. So coming together. Setting the stage, set up um, for a party celebration again, like um, for, for something um, for you. Um, hooray! I want to say, like, good job. Maybe that's a good job. Job well done. Um, you're going to be doing 
really well at work tomorrow or something. But also I think at home, I always think of this as the home where um, there's a castle in the background that came, it's popped out for a palace too. Because this is like you're, you're building the foundation. You know, you, you've laid the groundwork of something. And um, maybe the first story. Um, and uh, again, just like the sort of coming together of things. Stability. Lots of fours have been happening a lot too, and temperance is on the bottom. Bringing to opposites of um, whenever I see these cards together, I think of you should Google it because it's really pretty and it's a great place to. Um, have celebrations if you are somewhere near um, Chicago. Um, the point on the beach here um, is what it kind of looks like. It has this building. I used to take like violin lessons in it and got the point and there's beach on either side. Kind of also reminds me of this because I'd like around the beach and like find the sea glass with my mom and um, by the shore. Um, Taking a little day trip, maybe, or um, showing someone how to get there. Maybe you're, again, giving directions. Maybe um, you just need to be clear with your directions and um, balanced and things like that. You're creating something, you're creating art, you're creating um, life in a sense, you know, like. Um, cause there's a balance and there's a good flow of things one to the other and it's creating movement and movement, you know, movement, time, life, 14, five. Um, but yeah, the temperance angel card. So, um, having a gentle touch to all of these and just sort of, um, in the fiery, like, maybe just making sure you have a gentle touch. Feel your way through something. You're sensitive to others. Um, and the magician is on the bottom. Tools and table. <clears throat> um, even she has, like, a three the triangle on her, um, which represents Sagittarius. So, um, I just thought they're uh -huh. actually in the Toth deck. The high priestess card has all these things at the bottom. I didn't, I forgot to show it didn't come out before. Um, I think it did come out. Oh no. Yeah. No, that was the star. Um, there's a little, this guy and I, these are things I can't, I found when I got home. It was like, um, and the high priestess card. She also has like a little box, I think. <laughs> that looks just like that. Oh, well. um, anyways, <laughs> show and tell. <laughs> there you go. Um, so again, just taking your time with something and making sure you cover all your bases, I think. Base, home run. <laughs> um, you made it, you made it through. Made it through, maybe. <laughs> came up for your Saturn return. <laughs> Maybe you made it through your Saturn return. 30 years, the time it takes for Saturn to get around um, to where it was in the sky when you were born. Um, so maybe it's a blank slate, fresh start, um, done with lessons for a while. Sounds good to me. Because um, someone came up to, um, yeah, so <sighs> nourishing your spirit, I want to say too, or this comes up also, by the way, maybe you're going to, I mean, it's Thursday, I don't know, but it comes up for a wedding. So hearing a lot about maybe the royal wedding or um, maybe you are going, like, I am going to marry that person or something like that. Like, feel really strongly about someone and um, you think that they are just 
the <laughs> I was gonna say like a really old phrase with the cats the dogs the <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> um yeah I think I was done <laughs> um yeah so you forgot to say? Is there anything I forgot to say? Um, is this telling me yes, but I don't know. <laughs> um, fools on the bottom. Um, that's what it's reminds me of like, not the movie so much, but just the phrase, eyes wide shut. Um, being open, you know, open to what comes your way. Um, what comes your way, successful sort of like parade kind of thing, um, celebration. Maybe you're, again, running into old friends from traffic, like traffic or on the way home or something. Um, forgot to say. Anything else I missed? Yes, again. Um, Queen of Swords. <laughs> I don't know what that could be referring to, but um, Queen of Swords. Again, like maybe Aquarius. I feel like Queen of Swords can be a little bit more like she's been through things, so she can kind of be a little bit more someone's characteristics. Like, relies on themselves, doesn't want to, like, a little bit tough, hard around the, like, hard outer shell kind of thing, like armor, like in the chariot, um, but, um, more so to, like, fully use your, um, highest mind, in a way, uh, to get rid of those sorts of, um, the harshness, maybe, um, a little bit, um, the, you know, it's a fine line between, like, self-reliance and also, like, pushing people away kind of thing, so, um, maybe there's something like that happening, also it's come through as, like, the Pope or seeing things clearly, like, there's a lot of seeing things clearly, Being clear, cut to the chase, something, um, like it, yeah. Ties, how are things connected? Two sides of a story or something, waves of maybe just juggling things around. Um, it's, it's come through as like robbing Peter to. PayPal kind of thing, like you're having to sort of juggle finances maybe, or just juggle, you know, prioritize things that you want to do. Um, again, multitask, handle a lot at the same time, um, get a good footing, um, maybe get a move on it. Um, oh, this came through also, I was watching the documentaries in the in the supplementary playlist and um traveling to Egypt I think from um like Jerusalem or something this is what came what popped out um I was telling a story you know of perhaps biblical times I don't know um but again you can kind of see how everything just sort of translates because there's patterns in our evolution there's patterns in our um in our thought process there's patterns in our you know, in history, obviously. So um, things can just sort of translate or um, repeat throughout time, just in different contexts, but, you know, maybe channeling, moving to smoother waters, and um, wondering what time to leave or something. When to... Yeah, so six. Um, be on board wondering I 
hanging out at the bottom. Um, this is like a how or maybe or something. So, um, or 26 or 8 again. Um, so I see the 8 infinity and I just think of like, you know, a little bit, your two cents. Um, but there's potential for growth, like here, growth, um, and, um, moving subtly ahead, like how, um, there was a bit cool story about how, um, there's something outside. Anyways, this is getting long, so um, so maybe I'll save it for next time. So thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day tomorrow. Um, I hope you enjoy the reading too. Bye.